In this big tractor power video, we're going to look at a head-to-head -head comparison of a high horsepower wheel tractor versus a high horsepower track tractor in late fall tillage conditions out in a western Kentucky field. Many big tractor power fans and viewers are always asking in the comment section of videos about tracks versus wheels. Are tracks worth the investment? Can a wheel tractor get the same job done as a track tractor? And there are many other questions. And in this video, you'll get a close-up look of a wheeled John Deere 9R tractor and a tracked John Deere 9RX tractor pulling the same nine shank subsoiler 18 inches in the ground as they work on fall tillage. And you'll be able to decide which tractor you like the best and how they perform out in the field. So let's head to that side-by-side -side comparison in the field and you can see these machines in action.
I hope you've enjoyed seeing this comparison of the wheeled versus the track tractors. I think you'll notice that the track tractor is much more consistent in these late fall tillage conditions. It has a pretty constant RPM as it just cruises across the field, pulling that subsoiler 18 inches in the ground. The wheel tractors, whether it's the metric duels with eight tires or the triple wheels with the 12 tires, do a pretty good job, but there's a few things that you might notice as they're running out in the field. Number one, the wheel tractors have a lot of additional weight added to the rear wheels in order to keep that tire contact with the ground. You'll also notice that the tires are really digging and clawing into the ground and they're ripping up a lot of the soil on the surface as they kind of claw through the field pulling that ripper and you can see where they kind of wiggle a little bit from time to time when they either hit a hill and have some traction issues pulling upwards or they hit a soupy spot where they just kind of twist and slide a little bit as they try to regain that traction where the four track machine just cruises on through that and keeps on going. Both are great tractors, they do a really good job, but here in Western Kentucky, we've had an extremely wet fall from November 1st all the way to December 31st. It's rained almost every day and really held up fall tillage. So in those times when it gets just about dry enough to get out there, farms are gonna go, they're gonna try to get their tillage done. And I think this is really where the track machine can shine because it doesn't have as much traction issues. It has a larger surface area to pull across the field when it's kind of greasy, where those tired machines really have to kind of claw and dig in to get the tillage done. Both are good machines again, but I think you can see some of the differences in this video when they're working out in the field in the same conditions side by side. As we wrap up the video, one other question that comes up a lot is how do track machines compared to wheeled machines on the road? Can the track machine get down the road the same way as a wheeled one? Well, here we can see a John Deere 9R with metric duels cruising down the road, and we'll jump over in the next clip to a John Deere 9RX running down the road as well. I hope that you've enjoyed watching these big John Deere 9R wheeled tractors and John Deere 9RX track tractors working out in the field on fall tillage. It's been a particularly wet and challenging fall here in Western Kentucky where this video was filmed and it was my observation watching both the wheeled and the track machines working out in the same field that the edge went to the track machine this year with such a short time period to get dry enough conditions to be in the field. I felt that the track machines were just ready to go. They were able to get a few more acres done per day, especially when the job just absolutely needed to get done. In a future Big Tractor Power video, I'd like to go out and watch these machines in dry conditions, pulling the same implements, maybe climb up in the cab and talk to the operator, look at the fuel consumption, and see how they do in just standard everyday work conditions. If you've liked this Big Tractor Power video, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to the channel. There are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action on Big Tractor Power YouTube. If you have any questions or thoughts, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up on Big Tractor Power YouTube next, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.